So here we are, September 8th, I think it's September 8th, uh, Wednesday, <laughs> I guess. Days all blend into each other. Wall number three, I just finished. Each figure is hand drawn in chalk. And you still see that chalk outline. And as we move down the wall, I just tried to go with as many different colors as I could. That is a purple. It looks dark on this video, but um, just kids jumping, running, playing, having all kinds of fun, being kind of silly. One of my favorite ones coming up here is, yeah, skateboard kid's cool too. But I like this guy. He's like, what? Wasn't me. I didn't do it. I swear. A couple of kids playing ball. And I watch. I'm gonna trip over my junk. So I get out here. But as I said, each figure. About four and a half feet on average and it runs the whole length of the wall representing boys and girls playing sports and having fun uh, this completes the project well not officially I still have to come back and put a clear coat over everything but as far as the creative process for this mural here at the boys and girls club is complete so next up is piper pond i say piper pond i, I think that's what it's called it's off of amos town and piper road uh you see it with the fountain where they have the fishing derby it's right adjacent to the memorial pool where i did my very first mural on october 1st 2020 and ironically i'll be doing that mural at the pond, October 1st, 2021. It's funny how things work out that way. But I'm trying not to drag this out. There's the car in the way, perfect video shot of that, who cares? I just wanted to get a good distant shot, try to get as many in here in one thing as I can. So yeah, that was the concept. I'm happy with it. Uh, little stress along the way with certain things and for some reason today amongst any day I've ever done an outdoor mural boy the hornets were out today <laughs> I might have been done a half hour ago if I wasn't running for my life a couple times but so appreciations out to the Boys and Girls Club of America West Springfield Dan D'Angelo for reaching out to me for this project uh, for all previous people who have sponsored and helped with the other murals that you know got me the exposure and Try to keep things going uh put in for a grant for next year see what happens i can only cross my fingers and wait and uh, we've got a project proposal for the parks and rec department working on that and that grant would cover it so we'll see you never know goofy world of art